Hey, Tom here from the Run Testers with another running shoe first run review. In this video, I am going to be doing a 10K, uh, testing out the new Arcteryx Norvan LD3 trail running shoe. Let's take a look. The Arcteryx Norvan LD3 costs £150 or $165. It weighs in at 275 grams or 9.7 ounces for men in a size 8. The drop is 6mm and the lugs are 4mm. The Arcteryx Northern LD3 is a long distance trail shoe that's designed to offer a balance between cushioning, support and grip. There's an infused midsole for comfort and impact protection, a vibrant mega grip outsole with 4mm lugs to tackle varied terrain and an increased heel and forefoot stack to absorb shock. The upper is made from a light mesh material for breathability, there's ample padding around the ankle collar and a wide toe box to allow the toes to move comfortably. It also features toe caps for added protection against sharp things on the trails. So a little bit on the fit, uh, I, I think they feel fine for me, I'm a size 8. They do feel true to size but I would say that my big toe on one of the shoes is rubbing against the end of the shoe a very tiny amount. It's not causing me a major issue, but I can feel it, which would suggest that you may need to size up in these a bit. I don't have particularly um, big feet. I'm just under a size eight. So aside from that, I would say they're very comfortable. There is plenty of room in the toe box, lots of wiggle room, um, and they feel quite supportive, but they don't feel tight like some trail shoes that I've worn. So um, very comfortable possibly size up a half okay so my first run review I've just done about 10k uh, running around local woodlands uh, a little bit of road to trail as well and I'm I'm very much enjoying them so far I think they're quite comfortable they definitely feel like a nicely I wouldn't say overly plus shoe but they do feel like there's a lot of cushioning inside that makes them quite comfortable um, the midsole feels relatively balanced for me. It's not overly soft, it's not really firm. It just feels very comfortable and nice. I did feel like I could run faster in them, so I have done a few um, 500 meter sprints and just to test how it feels. And it, it does feel nice, it does feel like you can pick up the pace a bit in them, um, which is interesting for a shoe that is really focused on longer distance training. They do feel quite lean as well. I think they are, they're a shoe that I think, uh, I really need to check this, but uh, the LD in the name probably stands for long distance. It's a trail shoe designed for long distance running. Definitely feels like that's the focus of it, but they do feel surprisingly light for that as well. I'm not sure how light they are. I need to weigh those um, when I get back in, but they do feel lightweight on the feet. So they're very comfortable, lightweight shoe that feels like you can go quite a long distance with them in comfort. The grip on the outsole, it's a Vibram um, outsole, is seems very good. It's a little bit squeaky on um, uh, harder floors, which suggests to me that there's quite a nice uh, rubber stickiness to it. And running around on the trails, I've done some inclines and declines, feels fantastic on those. I don't think there would be any problem in slipping. Unfortunately, it's not wet today, so I can't test out how it would do on the wet ground, but um, on the dry stuff, or on the inclines and declines, it feels very good um, and feels like it's got quite a good grip. I didn't feel any sort of slippage at all. I'd also say that the, it feels like a very stable shoe, which is something you want when you're running on trails, um, uh, it, but surprisingly stable for a shoe that actually looks fairly lean. It, it, when you compare it to things like the Hocker Speed Goat or um, the Saucony Peregrine 12, it does feel a little bit leaner than those shoes. So nice bit of stability in it, even though it feels a little bit more uh, pared down than what you'd get in some of those shoes that are designed for longer distance trail running. So my verdict on the Northern LD3 so far is I'm, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with them. I, I, the only Arcteryx shoe that I've used in the past was the lightweight one. I think that was the SL2 um, and that was a really lightweight shoe it doesn't have a lot of cushioning in it it's a very fast shoe it's great for shorter distances not very comfortable at all for longer distances I wouldn't use that shoe for anything over a 5 or a 10k sort of 
blitz um, but it's great to pack in your bag and um, it rolls up nicely so it's a great lightweight shoe to carry around with you if you don't want to carry around something bulky for the trails this is the opposite of that this is the long distance cruiser I suppose um, of the trail uh, options and it yeah it, it feels like it does a very good job I I would say that I haven't warmed to it as much as something like the Peregrine 12. I think the Peregrine 12 instantly feels like a very versatile, enjoyable shoe to wear. Um, this just feels fine. It feels like a solid shoe. I've definitely enjoyed this run. Um, I definitely like to use the shoe for more runs, so it's definitely a positive from that perspective. Um, but all in all, just a pretty solid shoe. And, I, uh, and um, I'll report back after some more training miles. So that's it from me. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the little bell icon. Uh, and check the channel out for all the other videos we've got for the latest road and trail shoes to the latest running headphones and watches out at the moment. And we also, if you have a look into the caption below, we have a coffee account now. So if you want to buy one of us a coffee um, for our next brainstorming meeting, you can donate a little bit of cash there and um, we'll, we'll buy a round for uh, when we're talking about our next big guides. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you soon.